wise man once said, we don't stop laughing when we grow old, we grow old when we stop laughing. Who said it? I'll tell you in about five minutes. In the meantime, we'd like you to consider giving your corporate support to Age UK Teesside, the charity that keeps Teesside's older people laughing. We are there to support older people um, and we want them to live as independently as possible. And, and how we do that is that we provide social um, circumstances so that um, whether they're housebound or they like to get out, they're very active um, or they have problems because they've got no money. We talk to people, find out what they need, you know, what, what do they want to do for the rest of their life if it's possible and try and make it happen. Um, we'd love to go and knock on people's door and ask if they're lonely but it doesn't work like that. So we rely on other people noticing or perhaps the family will give us a call um, and quite often they come to us when maybe they're at the lowest. So we'll send a member of staff out to have a chat with them, um, find out what the problems are, because normally what they ring us with is just the tip of the iceberg, there's probably lots more going on. So they could ring us and say, um, I, you know, I'm, I'm really lonely, but you go out there and there's, there's lots of issues that could, could have fallen out with the family or have no family, um, they could not have enough money to live on, but are too proud to say, and that's what we do is we try and solve all those problems so that they can carry on with their life as independently as possible. All that invaluable work of course needs money and Age UK Teesside needs the help of businesses here on Teesside. Now I've run my own business on Teesside for 30 years and I know only too well the demands on the charity budget. But consider for a moment what your donation could bring. I had a stroke. I had a bad fall, I've had a rib replacement. I felt really low and the wife was getting me through this. I was, she was pushing me to do walk, which I did, and then she got cancer and died. So that left me right out on a limb. I had no, nobody, I've only got two sisters, that's all I've got. So I was by myself a lot for the first five, four or five weeks. Since then I've been able to come and basically talk to people, have a cup of coffee, makes all the difference. Because between that, besides that, all I do is sit in front of the fire with the television on. I go to bed, the radio's on. I've often said that it's lovely to hear other people talk that's not coming from the television. And it, it's like being a part of a, another, again, you're part of a family. With, without its concern, I would, I'd have nothing really through the week to look forward to. They give me something to get ready for, to get, have a, you know, smart myself up, to come out and to meet people. If I was to sit here and just listen to people talk, it's a, it's a bonus. It just has been a horrible year, and they've been there to help. Yeah, the first five weeks were horrible, then it started to, you know, unwind, and you could see, you could see an end, you know. All I have to do when I was get back on my feet, I'll be okay. There are many advantages for a business to partner with a charity. Increased visibility and revenue, brand recognition, business image and reputation, networking and marketing opportunities, exposure to different sectors, boost office morale and encourage team building, defines corporate identity, improved public relations. Enhanced employee relations and employee retention. Donating goods or financial support to a charity is tax deductible. I think it's very important for businesses of all sizes to support a charity or a good cause. And there's a number of reasons. The first one for me is it actually feels really good to support a local cause. And we all have a local cause or charity that maybe means something to us. Another reason is every business has some form of social responsibility that they try and get involved in. And as your business gets bigger, when you're going for contracts and tenders, that's often part of the tender process. Who do you support? What do you support as a, as a, as a charity or a good cause? 
Another reason that I think it's really important for businesses to support charities is there's a mutual benefit. Quite often a charity has a strong brand and following in that local community and if you're wanting to reach that audience then by supporting the charity and the more you support them the more visibility you get you are aligned with that charity but the charity is also aligned with you as well. So that's Age UK Teesside in a nutshell. So who was that wise man who said we grow old when we stop laughing? Well, it was Nobel Prize winner George Bernard Shaw who knew what he was talking about.